called No Texting While Busy. We intercepted text messages that were coming into the phone, told the main activity about them, and then used the main activity class to record those messages, show them on the screen, and also send an automatic reply back to the sender saying we could not respond because we were busy doing something. In this app, we're going to build a chat room called a broadcast hub, and we're going to make use of a lot of the software that we used in this previous app. In fact, what we're going to do is load the code from that app as the starting point for this app. If you didn't build this app, that's okay. We're going to show you now how to go on GitHub to load a working version of this particular app. I have open here the starting page for Android Studio. If you're not here, you can get to this page by closing your current project. So from here, I'm going to check out a project from version control and pick GitHub, which is the first choice. And I have a password set up on my machine. You may or may not. And now it wants to know what library to load. So you can go on GitHub and search for this library, or you can just type it in directly by putting in here github.com slash csarcar373 and then the project that we want is going to be called No Texting While Busy. Now this particular uh, folder already exists on my PC and so what we're going to do is we're going to move this to a new folder when we import the project in and we're going to use this name uh, of Broadcast Hub because that's the project that we're going to turn this code into. I'm going to hit the clone button and now it's going to load this project and now I'm going to open it. Now you see there are some errors here from uh, from version control. You can basically just ignore those errors. If you look at some of the details of these errors you'll see that there are some IML files missing but you can just remove those and the project will create new ones. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the project files and open some of these. And, and the first thing I'm going to do is open up the values file and go to the strings file here. And you can see that the old strings file of no texting while busy is going to be still here. And since I want to make this the broadcast hub uh, title, this is going to be the string that's going to show up on the cell phone when the app starts up. I'm going to replace this with Broadcast Hub. And whereas the project name cannot have spaces inside, since this is a string, I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity to put a space here so that the title looks nice and spaced out. Next, we're going to go back and open up all the Java files that were in the previous project, the main activity, the text message, and the text receiver. Now, the text message uh, class that we designed earlier can be used as is. So you can see one of the advantages of designing a class well. We can reuse it on a later project. As a reminder, the text receiver class is a class that intercepts the messages coming into the cell phone and forwards them on to the main activity by calling this update list method. So let's go over to the main activity now and the changes that we're going to make to the No Texting While Busy app to turn it into the Broadcast Hub are all going to be limited, I think, to this main activity. In this app, we're going to uh, take messages that are coming in from, from out the outside into the receiver. And initially, if a phone number has the word join in its message, we're going to add this individual to the Broadcast Hub. After that, every message that comes in from that individual, we're going to intercept, we're going to pass to the main activity, and then we're going to broadcast that message to everyone that's on the hub. So once you join the hub by using this join command, uh, you'll be able to hear what anyone is saying in the chat room. We're now going to discuss the changes we need to make to the no texting while busy code to turn it into the broadcast hub. First, in terms of the layout, what I've done is I've deleted the spinner that was located at the top of this uh, layout for the screen and just replaced it with a text view that says Broadcast Hub. Second, if we switch to the code, at the beginning of our main activity, you can see that I have removed all the code related to the spinner. 
because the broadcast hub doesn't have a spinner. I have added this new array list of uh, strings called hub members and we're going to keep uh, track of all the members that are currently in the hub by using this array list of strings. The reason we're using strings and not integers is because we already have the phone numbers stored as a string so it will be easier to manipulate them as such. In most of the apps in this course, we walk you through step by step how to develop them, at least the basic one, before asking you to develop the enhancements on your own. However, this particular app is simple enough that you can modify the existing code for the no texting while busy to make it into the broadcast hub with only minor modifications. We're going to give you some hints now as to what you need to do to the old code to turn it into the new code. But as you can see from the blurred out images, we're not going to show you the new code that you need to write. We're going to start by adding two members, uh, two new methods to our main activity class. One is this isMember method, and the other is the addMember method. The isMember method simply takes a phone number as a string and looks in the hub members array list to see if it's already there or not. If it's there, it returns true. If it's not there, it returns false. The addMember method takes the phone number and adds this phone number to the existing hub members array list. You're going to have to make some changes to this update list method that you wrote in your previous app in the no texting while busy and change it so that instead of sending an auto reply just to the person who sent the message you're going to take that phone number from that message check to see if that person is already in the hub or not and if they are to broadcast that message to every member in the hub. If the message contains the word join, you should add the phone number to the hub unless it's already there. With these minor set of changes, you should be able to get the hub uh, broadcast hub to work. I'm going to demo it for you now on my phone, and then it's your responsibility to make all these code changes. Okay, so I've downloaded the app on my phone. First thing I need to do is find it and click on it and start it. Back at the Google console, I'm going to send a join message. Back at the phone, you can see that it's received the join message. And you can also see that it's added this member to the hub. Now that I've joined this hub, I can send another message to it. Back at the phone, this second message, hello, is received and also listed on the main screen. If you look at the regular messaging app on the phone, we can see that we originally received a hello and then echoed the hello back. If there were more people in the hub, we would send them the hello as well.